up, you guys? It is Mary. And Elma. Um, Leave like us a like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. Because today we are reviewing season six, episode thirteen. I think it's episode fourteen. No, it's thirteen. It's thirteen. Yeah, we just did twelve. Okay. Um, but yes, you guys, we are basically going to get right into it today. Um, they are going for the venues because yes. they want to do a recommitment ceremony. So, um, yeah. And Cody's friend Brett is in town. Mm -hmm. So this whole recommitment thing is really kind of inspired by the whole trip that they went to um, um, in Arizona, Arizona yeah. and they basically have been doing a mission statement forever. So they want to let this um, ever whole since the dark the Daggers came. Remember the Daggers? They came. Yes. And they, they said their family has a mission statement. statement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they basically want to surround the whole recommitment thing around the mission statement and everything, kind of yeah. a recommitment. I think it's a sweet thing, you know, because it's kind of like re renewing your anniversary. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that keeps it spicy, it keeps it alive, and it makes, it reminds you of why you even started this in the first place. And also for the children too, because they're getting older, they're going to start their own families. Exactly. Why we believe in this plural family. Exactly. who you are as someone in this plural family. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Brett was a Mormon with... Cody when they were both in the LDS church and after Cody went on to be a fundamentalist um, L LDS person um, Brett moved away they kind of lost touch Brett now and for five years they didn't speak when they finally got back together Brett Cody was getting married Brett was um, you know Brett was now he doesn't really believe in any religion um, but you know they have been together they, they, he came for cody's wedding he had to leave early and cody was like that was the loneliest i had ever been in my way you know at the wedding but he said it's really like a bromance between him and brett you know yeah and um him and brett they went to they went like what like skydiving with yeah. sean um, um janelle's trainer i don't know what happened to bill I think I really I, do believe Bill had crossed his boundary with his wife. With he did not want um, Christine leaving him for Bill, I, especially with the way they were flirting or whatever. Yeah, okay. And he did not like that, so yeah. he had to get a new trainer. Yeah. And I have not seen heard about Mary working out or Christine working I out have since. A, only to know, to know when to rush on. Yes, but um, yeah, but I really thought that the recommitment ceremony was great that they are going to do. Um, I just feel like Cody has really tried. That's what I really felt. That's you how know? I see. Like he has his craziness and all that stuff, but uh, nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. But he's really tried to keep the family close and to spend time as best as he could, as best as his heart will yeah. allow him. You know, it's not his fault that he, he found his forever person. A little bit, it is his fault. <laughs> but I feel like, you know, the reason, I feel like he really has tried, you know, because this is somebody who was not even in polygamy to begin with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He and adopted yeah, he his religion. He had to learn as he went along. As he went along. Yeah. And, you know, he really did build something really amazing with these women. So. They all. And the children, like a stability for the yeah, kids. Yeah, for too. sure. Yeah. And he had did polygamy in a new way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's really just sad the way. And has all kind of just disintegrated. And the women are strong women because even Brett was asking him. Brett was like, "Hey, you glad I don't envy him at all?" Yeah, he said, "I don't envy him at all." But he asked him. He said, "You know, when he's but he sees that the wives are very strong-minded." And he's like, "I mean, do you have the ultimate? Do you make the ultimate decision with them? I mean, like, what kind of leadership? Or are you the leader? Or are you not the leader in this relationship?" And he said, "Well, he had to learn because he has very strong-minded women." He had to learn that he can't just be a dictator. He's like, when they were leaving Wyoming and he had a job in Utah and he was telling Janelle, hey, we got to move and we got to move such as our time. And she's like, no, I'm not going to be. And so he had to go back to the drawing board, come back, <laughs> not order her, but say, hey, you know, I'm going to go to Utah. I would love for you to come. But if you're not on board with it, it's okay. We'll figure out how to make it work. And then she was like, oh, okay, I'll come with you. So he learned that he had to, his leadership he said is subtle. It's yeah. not, but I think also his leadership, leadership that is some manipulation. Absolutely. Some push. 
Yeah. Some crying. A little kind of controlling thing. the narrative yes. a little bit. Yeah. You know, yes. it's all those things it's mixed all those in there. Things mixed in there, you know. With a bit of charm. Yeah, with the charm. With heavy of the charm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So So yeah, but um it was it's nice to it's nice to see. But how, also, where they came from, but then we know how it ends and it's kind of sad. So it'll be interesting to see how season 17 turns out. And even Christine though, because during this episode, Christine basically, he wanted to put the wrestling mats in Janelle's house, but she had no space. Yeah. So Christine was like, I have emptied my garage for you for the longest time so you can come and be there. Yeah. She obviously wanted to come there and, and be yeah. with her, so she left that space open for, for him. Because he was like, you know, it is known around the world that the garage is the man cave. Yeah. And Janelle's like, man, go somewhere. I just thought <laughs> I'd say, you were like, around the world, what? It's a universal language, what? Yes, but Christine basically, as Cody likes to put it so politely, blackmailed him into having his wrestling match in the garage. Yeah. And she, all she wanted was for you to be a better husband, That's spend it. more time with her, see her more. That's and, it. you know, I'm sure he's not doing that. I'm sure yeah. he goes to the garage quickly, I wrestles, and then leaves. Fears about her feeling as though she wasn't good enough. And that's why you have Robin. That's all she wanted. Just to lay her fears and say, let her know. I see you. I hear you. I You're appreciate important you. to me. I don't know how we would have done it without you, you know, raising these children. That's all she, she doesn't even want much. And just for you to come see her some more, yeah, you know? That's all. Like, you just had a child. Truly, yeah. it's not that, it's not that. Oh, old. No, she's not actually. So yeah. I just feel like it was really sad. I don't even I know so. if he ever really committed to doing that. Yeah. I think she should have put him on a one week trial. Yeah. If you do this, then you're going to have the garage. I don't think Cody likes to be told what to do. I don't think he likes to even be pushed to do something. No, I don't. And But the bottom line, it's not even about that because I think Robin can get him to do pretty much anything. Yeah. At the end of the day, he found Robin. He found Robin. Yeah, and, and he was being went, monogamous. Yeah, Ooh. and that was it. That was it. He talks about Mary going through a midlife crisis. And you going through a midlife crisis too. Yeah, yeah. But it's so, Mary and um, uh, Be sure to get some likes, subscribe, share, and comment down below. Bye. Bye.